Привет, дорогие друзья! Сегодня мы делаем обзор... I'm just kidding. Hey guys, today I am checking out a Russian lens. This is really cool. This is a lens that I've wanted to check out for a long, long time now. I just haven't gotten around to it until now. This is the Helios 58mm f2. A very inexpensive, very cool portrait lens. So I bought this lens new on Amazon and here's how it came packaged. So here is the box that the lens comes in and I've opened it because all of my address info is on the front and the seller's name. So instead of blurring it out, I'm just gonna leave it open. So it's a simple box. And then the lens itself is just wrapped in this uh, padding. So when I purchased this lens on Amazon, it said it was brand new. I have this slight suspicion that it's not actually new because I've never seen a new product wrapped like that. And uh, yeah, there's some wear on it. So I think this is a used copy of this lens. Very interesting. Um, so let's see, lens cap says Zenit. And there is the front lens element, very large and somewhat deeply recessed. You probably won't need a lens hood with this lens. As you can see, the adapter is this bottom portion. I don't know how to remove this lens from the adapter, but I don't really want to anyway. You can see that it starts in there, um, M42 to NEX. The focus ring is pretty interesting. You do get uh, almost a full, let's see, it's like almost a full turn, uh, maybe a quarter short of a full turn. The barrel does extend as you're focusing and you have this kind of interesting green lines, red center, and then some markings. These are in meters, so half a meter all the way over to infinity. Now what's uh, really weird about this lens is the aperture because you can turn it here and it does click. You could see that there is a clicky aperture, but then when you click it all the way over, there is a secondary ring here. So you can use it like a declicked aperture. And what's really, really weird is that at F2 where the red dot is, it's closed. At F16, it's wide open. So I don't know why this was designed this way, but I just shot it wide open at F2. So I just left it here to where you can't move that secondary ring so that I'm, I'm not accidentally moving it and messing up my aperture. So that is it. You'll see on the inside, Helios 44-2, 2-58, and then that looks like some sort of logo. I'm not sure what that is. Mounting it on the A6000. This is what it looks like. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample photos using this lens. All right, so that is it for the sample photos with this lens. Overall, I like it more than I thought I would. 
Um, it really is very inexpensive. I paid $45 for the new version of this lens on Amazon. For $45, it's a really, really good bargain when it comes to E-mount lenses. Now, it's 58 millimeters, which means it's not ideal for indoor shooting. Um, it's really more of an outside portrait lens. It is relatively easy to focus. I found that using focus magnifier worked best as you can zoom in and make sure that your subject is in focus before snapping the photo. As far as build quality, it's not the greatest lens I've ever seen, but it's not the worst. I think that it has some adequate weight to it. It's not too heavy. Um, some of these lenses that are all metal are really, really heavy. This one is not too bad at all. The real selling point of this lens is really the bokeh. So at 58 millimeters and f2, I didn't expect it to be as creamy as it is, but it really does a good job. I'd say that I like this lens even more than the Pentax M lens that I used back long, long time ago. I'd say that they're pretty comparable, even though the Pentax is f1.4. I think that the bokeh on this Helios lens might be a little bit better. If you are in the market for an inexpensive portrait lens that you can use on your a6000, a5100, a6300, and you're not wanting to spend more than about $50, definitely check this out. I will post a link down below to Amazon. If you do end up purchasing this lens on Amazon, just know that shipping from the Ukraine or from Russia will take a little while. I think I waited about two to three weeks before I ended up getting it. I forgot that I ordered it and then it just showed up. So uh, be patient, it's not a two-day prime special. If you guys have any questions about this lens or have any experience with it, love to hear your comments down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the likes and all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.